Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play series. In the last episode, I released Alien Android 4, a port of the arcade version, which is currently still out. I'm curious to see if this port hurts the sales of this. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but the port is excellent. If we look at the charts, we go best games of all time. Best game of all time, 99% review score. I think that might be my best game ever. Honestly, I've never had 100. I might have had 99 before, so it's tied for best game ever. And you notice Orcs and Dragons 4 is also currently a game that is out. Um, and then we have Loot Splite Slim between them, which isn't quite as good. Actually, it's nowhere near as good, but it was my first sim game, so I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it, and uh, I got what I expected. But that's all good. So towards the end of the last episode, I asked the question. Uh, my bank account was getting pretty big. Did I want to reinvest that money into console development or did i want to start buying out um my my competition and uh the people who answered in the comments and thank you for those people they all said start buying start buying people out so let's uh sort by market strength here obviously the higher market strength the more expensive they are or can't buy them at all if they're big enough um 75 million obviously we don't have that yet but if we go down here to the one and two stars which there isn't many of, to be fair. 35 million, we can afford that. 28 million. Um, and I think the reason why this one's cheaper, this is new. They only have like one IP. They only have like one game. Whereas if we check this one out, I mean, they have multiple IPs. They have a bunch of games, right? And then the one stars are even cheaper. Um, But ooh, that's a one and a half star IP. That's not bad. Might have to grab that. Potentially, they're 31 million, so we can afford them right now. Uh, but also, off camera, I uh, I built some stuff down here, so we got to we need a, we need a break room and toilets for sure, because if people are working down here, I do not want them having to walk all the way over here to go to the bathroom or go on break. <laughs> so I made a nay a new a nay a new 20 person development room. So let's grab our main development team here. Pick them up. We'll put them in here. Now, 20, this should be big enough that we never have to move these people again. In theory, this should be enough. And I want to supplement them. Notice there's six programmers available. I am going to hire all these programmers. And if you're thinking, Lutz, why do you want all these programmers? Here's why. Although, hmm, some negative traits here. Unlucky. I don't like that. Never gets critical. Learn slower. Hmm. <laughs> How many of these do I want? What's this one? Makes more bugs. Well, this person I want for sure. This person I want for sure. Learn slower. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to hire these four programmers. The reason why I want to have these extra programmers around is in a couple of years, I will be able to have a mocap studio. And this way, I will just be able to take some of these extra programmers out of here and put them in the mocap studio, and they'll be ready to go. In the meantime, we can get extra points from them for that category, right? Because it's hard for me to get those points. I don't have an extra room for that now, right? Like I have QA for gameplay. I have the graphic studio for graphics. I have the sound studio for sound, obviously. This will let me get programming points, and then I'll move them when the time comes. Anyway, and then so what do we do with this room? We could move our backup development team over to there. And then this room, um, our research team, which is currently training, when they're not researching, we can put them in here and put them to work doing something, right? Is the plan. All right, four minutes into the video, I should probably start actually doing stuff. Let's make another game here. So action, sim, RPG. So I could make another RPG probably, right? you look no no that's too many rpgs because this is a port it didn't it didn't count i could go i could do another sim oh no puzzle game we were gonna do a puzzle game wasn't i i did i said that i said that at the end of the video i think so our puzzle game engine is likely up to date let's double check that i believe it is though yeah tech level three that means it's probably up to date yep it's ready to go all right New puzzle game. Let's go. 
Nope, no engine stuff. New puzzle game, puzzle game, puzzle game sequel. Probably a puzzle game sequel, not bounty puzzle. That has very little hype, no IP value. Actually, probably, yeah, Detective Blue has a bit of IP value. I was going to say, none of these puzzle games probably have much IP value. Maybe Puzzle Pets. Oh, yeah. oh wow, 2.4 IP. That's actually quite high. That's quite high. All right, so Puzzle Pets 6. Um, we'll make it size A. Maybe double A. We will see. Um, we'll see how many features it has. Right, at some point soon, we will need to start making double A, which is why we want the bigger... Uh, studio with more people in it so nintendo is only tech level two that's only tech level one we need tech level three uh for this game because it's going to be tech level three stuff so sales might not be too crazy on these uh games because they don't they're not going to reach quite as many people core engine has five million Ooh, sigma megadex up to 11.5 is that more than what we currently have here yep no 11.2, what was it? 11.5, eh, it's about the same. But right now, we're just PC, right? Or just computers, none of these are consoles. So let's do that just so we can get some console penetration, right? So all tech level three stuff, all the languages are on. All the sliders look good. Extra technical points, because we don't have our mocap studio yet. And let's see how many features. Only 23 or 30 apply for puzzle games. So we will make this size A. 50 hype right out of the gate. Perfect. High quality graphics. Let's go. Improve the gameplay. Let's go. And guess what? We're going to make the sound better too. And let's uh, market it. Let's get that up to 80 hype. Where are we at? Puzzle Pet 6, one TV spot. Boom. All right. So we got 36 million left in the bank after doing all that. So that means we can officially afford to buy out one of our competitors. Um, probably this one with the Wizard IP, High IP, 31 million. Buy company, 31 million. Sir Code, welcome to the team. All right, so what options do I have here? Progress 46. So monthly administration costs 175000 That's no joke. What can we do here? So they're making a game. That's the progress of making a game. We can open or close them. We can sell them. We can upgrade them. You really want to upgrade Sir Code. The cost of the upgrade is $5 million. I don't really have $5 million, so that adds a start of their market strength, I guess. Um, there's their IPs. Studio settings. Publisher and developer. Balanced game size. No specs. Genre. No specs. Wow, you can really... You have a, there's a lot of options here. I'll just let them do what they want. I'm going to... Uh, you know, kind of be hands off for now. Maybe until I dive into it a little more. No, that's all right. That's cool. So let's hope we get money. Like, hopefully, it's profitable, right? Because 175,000 or whatever it was is no joke. So, how's that? Anything Androids is not selling all that well. Your arcade cabinet, eh, it didn't hurt the arcade cabinets that bad, which is nice. All right, research team is still researching. Backup development team. Let's bang out some contract work. They're making those. They're doing that. Everybody is busy. Just going to watch them for as soon as they're done with this research training. Ooh, that's a lot of extra graphics points. One of your graphics designers has continued working on the current game in his spare time. My man. As a result, many inferior graphics were improved. Nice. There is research here. So as soon as they're done training, we're going to want to uh, get them up there. Ooh. New studio rating. Popular game studio. Large booth. Let's go. Puzzle Pet 6. Uh, alien Androids. No, not... No. 97 hype. Let's not do that. And... 
loose plates, Sam? Nah, we don't care about loose plates, Sam. <laughs> Basically, we're kind of writing it off. All right, so they're done. Let's do an update for alien androids. No, sorry, not that one. This one, the port. <laughs> okay, so our subsidiary has a product ready for lease. Your subsidiary, new product. Do you want to distribute yourself or should your subsidiary handle the release? Estimated rating 1 to 20%. Okay, you guys can publish that. I don't want to touch that with a 10-foot pole. That's terrible. Come on, man, you can't be making games like that. Don't make me sell you, because I will. I will sell you. All right, what do we got here? Adjustable controls. Perfect. So the idea is with the three development teams is you have your main development team, just, you know, games, games, games. Um, that's it. And then you're, you have your backup team. And they can handle engines. They can handle updates. They can do paid add-ons, a.k.a. expansions. But... You also, but once you get into MMOs and you start needing to do MMO add-ons all the time, um, it'll keep them a little more busy. Oh, wow, I made 50000 Hey, I'll take it. It's better than nothing. Um, it'll allow this team, back the research team, they can jump over like this and do an engine update, right? Because the idea is, I'm not going to do it yet because I don't need to. I'm going to train them as programmers. So they'll be good at research and programming is the idea. Um, because engine updates, you don't need game design skill for that. You need programming skill for that. But speaking of engines, what engines should we update now? What kind of game do we want to make next? I mean, we could do another RPG now. How long is this trend for? 64 more weeks. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume my RPN, RPG engine is up to date, but let's verify that. Might not be. No, it looks like it is. No, it's not. Never mind. Alright, well, now it is. Or now it will be. And we'll be ready to go. Alright, sound team, polishing. Graphics team will be polishing very soon. Bugs are almost squashed. Let's get some special marketing here. Where are we at here? Puzzle Pet 6. Well, we don't need to do a release beta demo because it's already at 100 hype. But we will do a pre-release for the press. And we will do... That worked. And we will do overhype. I expect... I think this is game's worth overhyping. Alright, so we got some money now. So let's uh, go into our subsidiary. And let's prove this. 5 million. Sure. So now, yeah, now they're two stars just like that. Is the third star? Ooh, it's 20 million for the third star. Okay. I was wondering if it was going to be 5 million for each star. It is not. <laughs> it is 20 million for the third. I assume the fourth and fifth will be even more expensive. If that makes sense. I'm okay with that. Banking crisis. Eh, it's a good thing I don't have any loans. Or wait, I don't have any loans, right? I don't recall taking any loans. No. Oh my God, I could borrow 25 million if I wanted it. I don't think I need to, though. All right, so. Alien Andres 4, selling well. But let's uh, make sure it continues to sell well. Let's publish a demo for that. All right, so we got some more research here. They're training. That's fine, then. We will let them do that. Commission work. Boom. Overhype worked. So that game should sell well. Now, the question is, do I want to publish it myself or do I want to let my publisher do it, right? Because all my rooms are full. I mean, I could take, I could probably take this Loot Flight Sim 1 off automatic. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to self-publish this one. Until I get my, my publisher up to three stars, I'm going to I'm gonna self-publish, right? Or at least three stars. Because, I mean, I'm three and a half, right? That's fine. All right, so everybody's polishing. I'm assuming it's 80 to 100. Better be. <laughs> it is. All right, so let's release this. Self-distribution. Yeah, we don't need a map of the game world for a puzzle game, right? <laughs> Next week, sure. 
getting better at stuff, which is nice. And moment of truth, 95. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. All right, so Puzzle Pet 6. Let's make a couple hundred thousand. Say 20,000 deluxe. 8,000 collectors. Turn on automatic. Boom, away we go. All right, I like that. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. All right, let's do some game reports here. Get through that. Now let's see if there's commission work everywhere else to keep all the other teams busy. Ooh, that's worth 95,000. That's no joke. No commission work there though. That's fine. And what about over here? No. Well, they can do a day one patch. For Puzzle Pet 6 then. Perfect. Take it off. Pause. Let her go. Hey, why are you guys... Oh, we made more money from our subsidiary. 37000 <laughs> Not a lot. But hey, it's something. It's something. That's better than nothing. Alright. How's Puzzle... Oh my god, that sold really well. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's kind of insane. Um, publish a demo for this, because we never did. And then we'll publish a demo for the other one as well. All right, QA is done. They're done. They're done. Everybody's done, except for research. Training. Pull them out. Put them in the research room. Gameplay feature. Ooh, land multiplayer. In 1989. Well, not where I lived, but, you know, that's fine. I'm going to wait for that research to finish, actually. Oh, I, there is a cleaning robot here. There he goes. Do your thing. So what am I doing here? An RPG, right? Is the plan? Yeah, let's... Uh, would the land multiplayer apply for an RPG? I'm honestly not sure. Best graphics. Oh, not best sound. So I've won game of the year, I've won best graphics, I've won best sound. I have not won developer or publisher yet. Someday I will though. I promise. Alright, game update four. Um I think we've only done one for the Alien Androids port, right? Yeah, so let's do that and do a puzzle pets. Alright, land multiplayer is done. So we are ready for. Where's First fantasy or fourth fantasy or whatever it's on now. So this will be fifth fantasy now. No, nope, not 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 first fantasy. Now I probably need to make this double A. And make them back and change that. Possibly. And where are we at here? Beautiful. PC. Ooh, the Megadex up to 18.8. Glad I I'm glad I bought that dev kit. When is the super uh Mimtendo coming out, I wonder? <laughs> Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. 10.2 or 10.2? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, take your pick, I guess. Alright, so. We know how to make a good RPG. That is for sure. And yes, it is over 30. So if we want, unless we want to cut a feature, we have to make this double A. So it's going to cost a little more. It's going to take a little longer. But it's also going to be a better game. And 60 hype right out of the gate. So we were going to do special marketing for something, weren't we? Works of Dragons 4, publish a demo. All right, and anything for them to research? No. You know what that means? Back in the training room for you. And you can do research training this time. All right, so let's improve some graphics. Getting pricey. <laughs> let's improve some gameplay. Getting pricey. Oh, and hmm, I wonder if the high-quality sounds are expensive. Yep, they sure are. So this game better sell well, because it's it's really expensive. 
Um, but that's fine. Orcs and dragons, we can probably pull that off the market soon. Relatively. But one thing I do want to get on the go, I want to get a second QA room. Um, it doesn't need to be big. It only needs to be like eight or ten desks, probably. I can definitely fit eight in here, but can I fit more than eight? Yeah, I think so. Let's see if we can fit ten here. Oh, yeah, easily. Easily. All right, so let's fill it up with the other junk that you usually put in here. Uh, a couple of heaters. No heaters, I said. <laughs> Put a heater in the hallway here, too, for everybody. And let's give them a plant. In case we got any plant lovers. Gold record. I do have a gold record in here, too. That was my first gold record. Ooh, Orcs and Dragons 4 went gold. Nice. And let's slap a Game of the Year award in here. Why not? We have lots of them, right? Oh, we have a Trendsetter award, too. That's right, too. I forgot that I won Trendsetter. All right, so the reason that I want to have two QA rooms, um, two game testers, yeah, let's get them. This is more for later on when you start doing more MMO add-ons and paid add-ons. Um, they don't need, like, graphic Graphic Studio can't work on those, Right. Uh, Sound Studio can't work on those, but they do have bugs, so you need extra QA. In the meantime, they can just bug fix this. So as the bugs come in, they'll squash them, so that when main QA is done... Oh no, I lost nine whole points. When main QA is done improving, there'll be far less bugs for them to squash, right? Is the idea. All right, marketing is done. I will want a bigger marketing room soon. All right, so let's do... It's a lot of overhype. Uh, what are we looking at here? Fifth Fantasy. Let's do one TV spot. Get that up to 90 hype. Yeah, Orcs and Dragons 4. We're going to pull off the market. So I think I will probably self-publish. Actually, we can take... Loose Life Sim can off the market soon, too. Um, sorry, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm going to self-publish this one, I think, as well. I don't... Until I get my publisher that I own, you know, built up a little more, I'm not comfortable having them publish. Works and Dragon Sport. Okay, there you go. It's off the market. Made me $21 million, though. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Quite happy with that. There's no research, so they can just continue doing that. Um, I think we're going to do an update for Puzzle Pet 6, I believe. And then there's some commission work for them to do. Okay, we have Annie Cheat and we have some research. We got new genre, interactive movie, and we got modern 3D vector graphics. Nice. So let's just oh, nope. Let's just select that. Get that queued up for them. So as soon as I move them in, once they're done of their training, they'll start on that. All right, loot supply sim off the market. Lost me money. Lost me almost a million dollars, but. It was my first uh it was my first sim. It wasn't very good. <laughs> so now I'm just kind of going what I know, which is action, puzzle, RPGs mostly. I will dabble in other stuff as well. But and eventually we're going to get a console as well. Um so let's continue development. This needs to be better. 60 to 80 is not acceptable. So, ooh, well, all kinds of commission work here. Let's get through that. All right, yeah, graphics still have lots to do. Sound still has lots to do. All right, we got a graphics artist, a legendary graphic artist. Now, I don't really have room for this person in my graphic studio, so I'm just going to put him over here for now. I just need to remember he's there, or she, I didn't see. Um, and then when I do make my graphic studio better, bigger, I can move them. Um, the reason why the other rooms are behind is because uh, because I have all the extra people in here from the bigger room. They're going through fast. That just means more polishing, right? That's not a bad thing. All right, so Graphic Studio is on their last thing. They're fixing bugs. They're on their last thing. Perfect. All right, so they're done training. 
So let's get them down in the, in the research room, get those modern 3D graphics. And once they have those, we can update whatever engine we want to do our next game on. Or do I want to do a paid add-on? Or let's say Puzzle Pet 6. I think I should. I think I will do an add-on. We will what subtopic works here? What subtopic would work? Cats. There you go. Puzzle Pet 6. Feline Frenzy. Yeah. Beautiful. Looks good. Let's uh, actually let's buy some Annie Cheat. <laughs> Cause you know, Puzzle Pet 6 is, you know, hardcore competitive multiplayer scene. Um, oh, we can turn on land multiplayer. Probably the only new one. Yes. Secrets is already in, obviously. So. They can stop doing 5th Fantasy. And start bug fixing Puzzle Pet 6. Is there any more game testers out there? Holy crap, 7. Do they know I have all the free seats available? Alright, we get you, we get you. Um, I don't want, I don't like unlucky. I like people that can get crits. So they'll get through that pretty quick. They're there. Um, let's do, let's do special marketing for fifth fantasy. Release a beta demo. Then we'll do a pre-release for the press. So, uh, Okay, it is now bug free, so they're polishing. Graphics seems almost done. Sound team is done. So let's do a pre yeah, pre-release for the press. It's at four hype. Okay, we got new research to do once this is done as well. I probably should make them a bigger room, actually. But yeah, all right, so that worked. So what's that at for hype? Can I do over hype? 97. Does it need to be 100 hype for over hype? No, we can do it. Let's do it. Let's do it and get to it. Alright, so... Oh, hey. I got three million from them making that game. You know what? Oh, Puzzle Pet 6 is done as well already. Uh, I need to market that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, what was I doing? Alright. Yeah, my research team needs to be bigger all right advanced 16-bit sound uh overhype did not work that's fine let's do a quick marketing campaign for feline frenzy one radio spot that'll get it up to 40 hype and then we can release that all right so let's finish development on this 80 to 100 beautiful i like the fact that we got some stars it's a lot of graphics points self-distribute um, let's put the map of the game world in there. It's an RPG, right? Getting better. Multiple endings. Okay. Improved physics. Look at that. We're not even five stars in these graphics, and the new graphics are already there. Same with sound. Well, we did just get the five stars there, but just in time to use something different. <laughs> oh, ooh, 97. Spicy. I like that. All right. So we will sub-publish this ourselves. But the Puzzle Pet 6 add-on, we are going to let our subsidiary puzzle uh, publish that. We just need to wait till it's actually done. Game report for 5th Fantasy. Commission work here. Yes, there is. What about over here? There is not, so let's pick them up and put them into training. Or graphic design. Beautiful. All right, marketing. So I'm going to need a bigger marketing room, bigger research room, bigger graphic studio. I need a lot. I need a lot of things. All right, so that is done. How good is this going to be, though? 70 to 90. That is fine for an add on. I am okay with that. And we can hype it up with this. <laughs> um, what else needs hype? You need hype. You need hype, I guess. Beautiful. 
All right, so did I improve you to three stars yet? No. Let's improve them to three stars. And then let's publish this. Well, we're going to let them publish this. Give add on to publisher. All right, so where are they at? Right here. So yeah, we get $15 because they're ours. Because we own them, right? And I don't have to worry about it. It's out of my hands. Beautiful. Hopefully this is at least 80. Oh yeah, 87. No worries. Perfect. We don't have to worry about it. They did it for us. It's beautiful. All right, so that's going to be all for this episode. I think I might uh, I might build a couple more rooms off camera there. And we'll come back. We'll have those new rooms ready to go. Bigger rooms. Um, I don't know. I just find doing that on camera is kind of boring. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Links in the description down below to all of those. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.